CQG has created industry-leading charts for over 30 years. The benefits of CQG charts are the ease of use and exposure of the market information you need to make better trading decisions. Welcome to an overview of CQG Charts Part 3. This three-part video walks you through the features and functionality of all the different chart types available in CQG. T-Flow offers not only quote data, but also depth of market data. T-Flow bars do not use time. The high is the best ask price and the low is the best bid. Each T-Flow bar is color-coded to indicate the percentage of volume traded at the ask price, which is buying, and the percentage of volume traded at the ask price, which is selling. Now you know who is generating the last price, a buyer or a seller. In addition, the bar's width and color brightness is determined by how much this bar's traded volume is relative to the past T-Flow bars. Bright and wide T-Flow bars indicate a lot of trading at this price level. You can aggregate T-Flow in three ways, bars, range, and smoothing. Aggregated T-Flow bars provide the same information as one tick bars, but they are compressed into a single bar based on a number of bars or range. For example, setting the aggregation to three bars tells the system to combine every three bars into one bar. Setting the aggregation to a range of three ticks tells the system to create a new bar when the range exceeds three ticks. T-Flow also includes a proprietary algorithm for a smoothing aggregation. This smoothing helps you better track trends, support, and resistance levels by reducing the market noise around the trend lines. Smooth T-Flow bars allow you the opportunity to spot key market turns. The time-based T-Flow chart displays bars built based on time and sales data similar to regular time bars, but with the addition of bid and ask volume. Bid and ask volume is available intraday only. This chart also provides access to historical data. Time-based bars appear as T-flow bars with open and closed markers. The bid volume is represented by the red part of the bar and the ask volume is green. The brightness and the width of time-based T-Flow bars are based on the current bar's volume relative to the volume history. The preferences offer four preset colors, widths. The higher the volume, then the brighter and wider the bars. Three techniques are available in the preferences to determine the current bar's volume relative to the volume history. Percent ranking, percent of average, and actual. These values are explained in parameters. This chart can be used with the same contracts and studies that you can use with a regular time bar. You cannot use T-Flow volume studies, pre-trade analytics, or volume studies. Tick charts display each price traded as a unique point on the chart. A reported trade that immediately follows an identical trade is considered a flat tick. The second trade, the flat tick, is shown on the tick chart only when the flat tick checkbox is selected. Tick chart smoothing displays ticks aggregated with a smoothing algorithm. It's based on trade ticks only. The yield chart type plots the yield for debt instruments. You can choose from five models to calculate the yield. Standard bill, simple bond, standard bond, Moose Mueller, and Brace Fangmeyer. You can also select default. The default value is generated by the system based on industry conventions. For example, Government and sovereign debt bonds are standard bonds. The default compound rate is based on whether bonds are paid annually or semi-annually. The forward curve and yield curve windows opened from a chart both display the curve for a market. The forward curve charts all symbols and the yield curve charts the yield of fixed income instruments fixed using income price symbols. 
The forward curve is plotted for both expired and non-expired symbols using the price of the instrument. The forward curve is updated real-time for those markets trading. The forward curve window lists the instruments along the x-axis and the prices on the y-axis. The yield curve displays the yield for the fixed income instruments and is updated using real-time data. The yield curve window lists the instruments along the x-axis and the percentages on the y-axis. Both the forward and yield curve windows include three buttons on the bottom right corner for adding additional curves as seen in the yield curve window. The curves are automatically linked to the chart. This concludes our video and overview of CQG Charts Part 3. Thank you.